Hello everyone! If you're wondering how I was able to make a video so quickly after Croatia won the FIFA World Cup 2018, it's because I pre-recorded this video, uh, you know, I, I had a feeling that Croatia will win, so I thought, ah, why not Why not make a video? And wh what better video to celebrate Croatia's great victory over France uh, than by showing a game from Croatia's greatest chess player, Ivan Šaric, where he defeated the, the reigning world champion, Magnus Carlsen. Uh, it's a game from 2014, the game was played in Chess Olympiad in Tromso, and uh, you, the previous game, you've seen that game, uh, Ivan Šaric versus Maxim Vasiljev Lagrav uh, from the 2015 Tata Steel uh, uh, chess tournament. Uh, there, in that tournament, he was able to draw a game against Magnus Carlsen, but this is a game that was played one year before that, uh, so let's check it out. Uh, we even have a photo of, of this game. Uh, here it is. Uh, that's... Uh uh, that's uh, Ivan Šaric uh, on the left uh, facing Magnus Carlsen. Carlsen is uh, checking out will, will will the lady play the correct move that uh, he was planning to play. Uh, and Ivan, uh, Ivan is presenting the world champion w with a nice piercing gaze uh, as he is ready for war. So uh, let's check it out. Uh, and I, I believe the photo, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure this photo was taken by David Lada, but, you know, uh, I will have to check. Uh, so let's check it out. Uh, Šaric opens with e4. Uh, we have e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to b5, the Ruy Lopez. And here we have knight to d4, the bird's defense uh, to the Ruy Lopez, uh, something not that often seen in uh, high-level chess, and especially uh, you will, you, you're not going to see this move very often played by a world champion. Uh, but okay, knight captures on d4, e captures on d4, and uh, here Black uh, has his pawns doubled, but uh, Šaric is prepared for this variation. He plays bishop to c4. Uh, bishop to c4, not allowing c6 to come with tempo, uh, but also preventing Carlsen from playing bishop to c5 and just continue developing, because now bishop to c5 is met with bishop captures on f7. Uh, with check, king captures, queen h5 check, you block, and then queen captures bishop, uh, you just won a pawn, and you're also gonna grab the d4 pawn, this is basically winning for white. Uh, so after bishop to c4, Carlsen played uh, knight to f6, uh, we have castles and now d5. Capturing on e4 uh, is, is very dangerous. Again, you're going to face this bishop captures on f7 move. Uh, after king captures, queen h5 check. You block queen to d5 with check. You're going to pick up the knight on e4 uh, after king moves. And black is, black is going to be stuck with a, king, uh, with, a, uh, with a wide open king for the entire game. Uh, so after this castles, we have d5. Uh, e captures on d5 and now bishop to e7. Uh, queen to f3, uh, bishop to g4, attacking Šarić's queen. Uh, queen to f4, now attacking the d4 pawn and now castles. Uh, there's no good way to defend the d4 pawn. Uh, bishop c5 will simply be met with rook e1 check and now you either have to bring the bishop back, with, which would just be silly, uh, or play king f8 and then, you know, really uh, concede to having your rook out of the game for, for a very long time. Uh, there's no reason to do this, so after king f4, Carlsen simply castles. Uh, we have h3, uh, queen to, uh, bishop to d6, first attacking Šarić's queen again, queen captures on d4, uh, and now c5. A very nice move by Carlsen, uh, not allowing this uh, capturing by Ampasan, because now bishop to h2 check will pick up Šarić's queen on d4. So after c5, uh, queen to d3, uh, and we have bishop to h5 now. Uh, getting the bishop out of the way. Uh, Šarić continues developing, knight to c3. Uh, we have rook to e8, and now comes f4. Uh, I remember uh, at the time this game was played, I didn't uh, have a YouTube channel at that time, but I remember uh, when this game was played, and I did see an interview with Carlsen. Uh, he says that he overlooked this f4 move, and that then when he saw this f4 move, that he, he understood that white's position was uh, very powerful. Uh, a6 now, preparing b5, so Šarić stops it. Uh, pawn to a4, uh, queen to d7, and now queen to g3. Uh, knight to e4, uh, offering a trade of knights as the queen on g3 is under attack. Knight captures, rook captures, and now b3, uh, defending the bishop on c4. And still, uh, Carlsen is still da down a pawn, and he doesn't have any real compensation for it. Uh, queen to c7 is played with a triple attack here against the f4 pawn, uh, but now comes d3. Def uh, attacking Carlsen's uh, rook on e4, but also... Uh, now defending the f4 pawn one more time for, uh, with the bishop on c1. 
Uh, and here we have rook to e2. Uh, rook to e2 is uh, the beginning of Carlsen's downfall. With the rook to e7, uh, he might have still uh, have some chances. Uh, but here, after queen to g5, uh, uh, Carlsen's bishop on h5 is under attack. And you do have to do something about it. You can't go g3, f3, rook is blocking it uh, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, it's occupying d2 square. Uh, if you try bishop to g6, uh, then you face this f5 move and the bishop is trapped. Uh, okay, rook e5, pinning the pawn, but now comes the bishop to b2, attacking the rook. And after f6, queen simply moves, and now you have to move the bishop and you're gonna lose the exchange. Bishop captures on e5, bishop captures, and uh, after we move the rook, uh, black doesn't have any compensation for the exchange. Uh, after queen to g5, attacking the bishop, Carlsen played g6. Uh, but this isn't all that much better. Look at now all of these dark squares. Uh, around Carlsen's king, and uh, Sharic does have this beautiful bishop on c1 ready to be developed, so he immediately employs it, bishop to b2. And now, uh, already you are facing some very serious threats. For example, uh, you don't have time for bishop to f8 to, to trade this very strong bishop, because now queen to f6 and there is no defense, white is winning this game. So Carlsen immediately goes for bishop to e7, he attacks Sharic's queen, uh, but it's not a problem. Bishop to f6. Uh, we have h6 now attacking Carlsen's queen uh, and now bishop to e5. This is an excellent move uh, that uh, really shows how powerful white's position is. The problem is Carlsen doesn't have the luxury of trading queens here. If you play h captures on g5, uh, you get bishop captures on c7 and now comes this uh, g captures on f4 move. Uh, you don't have time to play anything like rook captures because of the threat g4 of uh, trapping the bishop on h5. So you have to react to this. Pawn captures, but now comes rook captures. Again, uh, white is threatening g4 to trap the bishop. And after g5, rook to f5, uh, bishop to g6. Again, rook to f2 is coming. And after captures, captures. Uh, white is up material and with the past d pawn the position is easily winning for white. So after this bishop to e5 move Carlsen tried queen to d8 uh, but it doesn't help. Queen captures on h6. Already uh, Sharic is threatening queen to g7 checkmate. And it's uh, not all that easy to stop this. Uh, for example, if you try something like bishop to f6, if you try to trade, uh, you lose the game immediately due to this d6 move, opening up a discovered attack from the bishop uh, to the f7 pawn, and here black is without a move. Of course, you cannot capture on e5, uh, then f captures on e5 is coming, and then the rook and bishop will be too powerful. And whatever move black plays, let's say rook captures on c2, g4 is coming, again, uh, you're losing this piece here. So after h6, uh, Carlsen plays uh, a very tricky move. He plays rook captures on e5. And uh, what do you think Sharic played here? Try to pause the video here and uh, figure out what Sharic played to, to keep initiative going in this game. Did he capture the rook back or did he play something else? So feel free to pause the video here and uh, figure out uh, how to proceed here. Uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations. Uh, you know, you, you really know how to... Uh, go for that initiative and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show uh, Definitely uh, f captures on e5 is not a good move because bishop to g5 traps the queen the queen has nowhere to go uh, Black black isn't winning here white can simply capture the bishop and after g captures play d6 now and still uh, White's uh, attack is very strong here, uh, but Sharic played an even better move instead of capturing the rook he played d6 immediately and now uh, black is in a whole lot of trouble. Uh, the problem with d6 is that you can't play bishop to f6 and hope for the same variation again after rook captures bishop to g5. Uh, because now f captures on e5 is a go. Now bishop to g5 is simply met with bishop captures on f7. Uh, and uh, it's checkmate. I mean, there's nothing to do here. Uh, so uh, after this d6 move, uh, bishop to f6 doesn't work. What about bishop to f8, attacking the queen? Still, you get bishop captures on f7, king captures, and now queen to h7, check. Uh, bishop blocks, and now f captures on e5, opening up a discovered check from the rook to the king. King moves, and after queen captures, you're uh, getting checkmated very quickly. There's very little black can do here. So after rook e2, uh, uh, so after this... Uh, d6 move, Carlsen tried rook to e2, uh, but it doesn't help. We have d captures on e7, attacking the queen, queen captures, and now comes f5. Uh, Sharic continues with his attack, uh, he doesn't mind uh, trading queens. Queen captures on e3 is yet again impossible, uh, because queen captures, rook captures, and again g4 traps Carlsen's bishop on h5. So after f5, 
Uh, Carlsen tried queen to h4, again a tricky move by Carlsen, but Sharic doesn't fall for it. Uh, there are some variations, for example, if Sharic tries f6 with the idea of queen g7 checkmate, then rook captures on g2 uh, will uh, achieve a better position for black after king captures, bishop to f3 check, rook captures, then white loses the queen. Uh, but okay, Sharic uh, figures it out, he plays queen to f4, forces a queen trade now, uh, g5, and now queen captures. Uh, we have g captures on h4 and now rook uh, to f4. Uh, Carlsen plays rook captures on c2. We have rook captures on h4, now comes bishop to e2 and now rook to e4. Again, uh, Sharic doesn't allow this bishop to get out. Uh, rook to d2, attacking the d3 pawn. Uh, if Carlsen doesn't react, rook to e1 will be very dangerous as the, the bishop will be lost. Uh, you can never retreat it because g4 will win the bishop yet again. Uh, rook to d2, and now simply transferring the game uh, against the f7 pawn. Uh, we have bishop captures on d3, uh, bishop captures on f7 with check, king to f8, and now f6, defending the rook. And uh, again, it's very hard to find a move here for black. Uh, Carlsen played rook to d8, he wants to activate his remaining rook, uh, but here comes bishop to h5. Uh, now, again, uh, not allowing Carlsen's rook to ever leave the, the, the last rank because the rook to e8 will be checkmate. So Carlsen uh, goes king g8 to create some breeding space for the king. Uh, but here, Sharic simply played rook to e8 check and uh, it was in this position that Carlsen resigned the game. So a great victory for Ivan Sharic. Uh, Carlsen resigned because either you move the king and then you lose the rook uh, or rook captures and then f7 check. Uh, you have to move the king and then the queen comes into the game. It's all over. So uh, a wonderful victory by uh, by Ivan Sharic uh, against the world chess champion Magnus Carlsen. And uh, like I said, if you're watching this video, as there is my quote above the board, if you are watching this video, Croatia won FIFA World Cup 2018. Uh, and I'm somewhere celebrating, hopefully in some good company with some nice, uh, uh, nice craft beer. So yeah, uh, that's. Uh, ho ho I hope you are watching this video. So yeah, once again, uh, let's uh, check out this photo. There you have it. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, I would like to thank Matteo Botti, Luca SR, Fernando Estevez de Oliveira, Stanislav Petrov, and James E. Roverdink uh, for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. And I really recommend it to everyone. Uh, in the description below, the first thing you will see uh, is an interview with Ivan Sharic after beating Magnus Carlsen in this game. Uh, so do check it out. It's a very short video and it doesn't have all that many views. So, you know, uh, I would really appreciate it if you checked it out. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, uh, and I will see you soon uh, after I'm done celebrating. See you soon.